We focus on the breath. You're keeping the mind in a restricted place. We don't ordinarily don't like restrictions, but this is an important restriction because strength comes from it. It's not like you're, like, like you're being tied down and tortured. You're being taken to a place where you really want to stay and dig down deep into your mind. You just want to make sure you don't wander off. Because if you wander off, you never get into anything really deep inside. It's when you're really still that things inside the mind start coming up. You see them for what they are. So even though there's a sense of restriction, it's an important restriction. I mean, this is The Buddhist teachings have a lot of restrictions, like the precepts we had just now. It's not like he imposes them on you, but he says, like, if you hold yourself to these restrictions, you're going to find that you benefit. So any intention to go out and to kill, steal, have illicit sex, to lie, or to take intoxicants, you just say no, right across the board. It simplifies things quite a bit. Of course, you find that when you're living within these restrictions, other issues may come up. You know, we've got ants in your house, what do you do? We've got termites in your house, what do you do? Well, you have to learn how to use your wisdom. Someone asks you a question about something you feel that you really don't want to talk about. How do you avoid the issue without lying? And this exercises your discernment. And John Cha has a teaching. He says that virtue, concentration, and discernment, they're all part of the same thing. In the beginning, you've got the restrictions of concentration, and then you've got the, rest excuse me, the restrictions of virtue, and then the restrictions of concentration. But the mind develops, and it's through the development of the mind this way. It's like planting a tree in one place and keeping it there. You don't pick it up and move it over here, move it over there. You just say, okay, one place right here, the tree actually gets to grow, and then it gives its fruit. So stay right here, dig down right here, and you'll be able to plant a good tree. And in the meantime, you'll find all sorts of interesting things underground as well. So even though there are restrictions in the practice, they're restrictions for the purpose of a bigger happiness. That's one of the basic principles of the teachings. If you see that there's a greater happiness that comes from abandoning a lesser happiness, you're willing to abandon the lesser one. So even though we have some restrictions on what we can do and say and think and look at and listen to, still, they open a bit bigger freedom inside. So there's a greater happiness that comes from abandoning the lesser ones. And always keep that in mind, because that's one of the basic principles of wisdom. And it's one of the things that it sounds like it's common sense, everybody would agree to it, but you look at the world, how many people actually live this way? Most people want everything, grab everything they can, and as a result they've got the little happiness, but the bigger happiness gets ignored. So focus on where the real happiness can, can be made, can be discovered. And anything that wanders away from that, you say, for the time being, I don't have to pay any attention to that, don't get interested. And when the real happiness comes, okay, then you find that you really won't be interested in the other things, because you've got something that's so overwhelmingly good. <laughs>